What's up, everybody? DTM in the house. How are you doing today? Let me take off these headphones. I don't need them. I hope you had a great Monday. I just watched Pixie Pew's animation stream, and it's amazing. Oh, my God. I need to learn how to do animation. Let me double check. Yeah, we got audio. Let me I need to learn how to do all those fancy moves so that my streams can be more exciting. I don't know. I've been working on it. I'm going to get there. I believe it. I'm going to get there. What's up to everybody already joining us? in the chat and uh misty was first <laughs> misty dropped the comment first and pixie pew voodoo val bliss how you all doing today gareth in the house joshua what's going on we all still here that's right because we got lots of cool shows here in behance and adobe live provides us with tons of content all creative all very useful in following and exploring our creativity so yes we're still here did I say Garrett? Yes, I did. Derek, everybody is in the house. Word up. I appreciate y'all being here. RB and Gus, yes, thank you for stopping through here. All right, so let's get right into it, right? Let me go ahead and switch over. Boom. So what I have been doing is uh, if you are been paying attention to my streams here, Sketch to Vector is a process where I take a pose that I find somewhere, usually an amazing artist who has amazing illustration skills. And uh, I couldn't find the name of this particular artist, um, but this is a, a mobile game series, and their art is just amazing. So I went ahead and uh, I found a pose I like. And from here, let me see if I can uh, show you. I started to do some sketches. Now, this is a project that's on Behance, so you guys can go to my Behance portfolio. What's up, SLB Price? And uh, all the way at the very top of that portfolio you'll see what's what we've done so far what we're working on and what's coming up so i already have some sketches for the next few weeks uh, this is how creativity works sometimes it comes out of you like yeah 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 i just want to draw this and that um i get inspiration from other artists and so i i i love to sketch i really love it and so i already pre-planned a few sketches and you'll find them here in the sketch to vector project on behance not only can you find the current projects and every and all the steps that I've of the artwork from the uh, past streams, but if you scroll all the way to the bottom, I don't know why this is all the way down here. You can download the sketch yourself. So for tonight's for today's sketch, it's already in the Behance profile. Just click on the link, the source file link here. It takes you to Dropbox, and you can just download the JPEG. At the same time. As you scroll down, you'll see the few other sketches that are ready to go. <laughs> and uh, this one is a, cr a crowdsourced name. I like it, and I'm going to keep it. I just got to fix the way it looks right there. I worked on Pumpkin the other day, and I was like, oh, that's a great sketch. And uh, for the month of October, we're doing a traditional Spooktober series, uh, cha our challenge in our Discord. And so I drew uh, Predator, and uh, he has a pumpkin in here. Uh, sketchwork right there and then next uh in a few weeks after uh w max i think that's next week at w max in two weeks w max in a couple weeks so the week after that i will be back on monday and this is what we're going to work on sweater weather uh pcpu says i was never good at drawing positions in 2d so i'm very interested oh, okay okay <laughs> well come on uh download the sketching and let's get to work so that's for a few weeks from now and there's a couple of sketches there already Today, we're working on On Guard. And so the pose is called On Guard because that's what it looks like, right? The, the character's like, she got, to, she got her sword, she got her hand out, like, come on, what's up? What's gonna, what's gonna, what are we gonna do right now? And, uh, and, so let's, uh, and so I'm gonna show you my sketching process and then we'll go through some vector drawing all in Adobe Fresco and then we'll export that Adobe Fresco file into Illustrator to then add a few extra details. But before we go into that, let me show you some of my inspirations when it comes to 2D illustration. I'm a big fan of anyone who can draw a character. I'm a big fan of anyone who can draw characters that have cool angles to their drawings. You know, so it's not just a person sitting down, but it's a person sitting down on top of some electronics, some TVs, a microwave, a little bunny cage. Um, and uh, so the character is sitting up a little bit high, and so you have that angle of view, 
and uh, and it's different. It has um, it has depth. It has perspective. Then here is uh, another uh, piece of drawings that I found, and probably that's probably the name. Somebody, okay. I forget the the names of the art that I find online, but listen, I only follow artists. I follow artists. If you're an artist, I'll follow you on Twitter, Instagram, wherever you are, because I love seeing art in my timelines. But over here is um, is the some sketching and just some monochromatic sketching so that you can see the figure, you can see some details on the figure, and next and that gives you an idea of what the character is about. And then finally. This is what I really aim for when it comes to my 2D illustrations. I really want my drawings to have that shiny and gradient look and um, the values, all of that, that makes the drawings really stand out and look fuller. I work really hard for that. But my limitation in, 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 is that I really like vector. I really like to draw in vector. And so then what happens is now I have to uh, figure out a way, how do we do all of this awesome drawings that other artists do, but with vector layers. And so there's a lot of good vector artists out there that I also follow their work. And so that's what we're going to start to do with some of our sketches. Start with a sketch, go ahead and scribble it and get some drawings down. But then once you jump into vector, we want to make sure that we can add some depth, some uh, shadows, some values that gives our drawing, gives our drawing that extra, extra uh, feeling of 3D space and dimension and perspective. There you go. Boom. It's a whole bunch of words. Let's get right to it. All right. So here's a, the, the first sketch. The idea that I saw that character with uh, the sword and the fingers and the handout. Uh, what I like to do is just go ahead and uh, go right away. Make sure that I have, um, and I, here, boom, bam, bam. Make sure that I have the pose, you know? So let me go ahead and make that a little thicker. Boom, yeah. Oh, I see, because I'm in the same layer. I'm in the same layer. Yep, let's go right there. Boom, there we go. Bam, I want to go ahead and uh, get some shapes in, right? That's always our first step. We want some shapes. So there goes the chest, there goes the torso, there goes the hips. Bam. We want the leg. Goes the knee, the foot, boom. Of course, you can already see that here. You're like, damn, that's nothing. Well, you know, you let's do it where I don't see the the drawing underneath. All right, let's try that again. Let's go, boom, get that, get the sketch, go over. There we go. So, all right, let, this is better. All right, now we now we're cooking. All right, so what do we do? We I always like starting with the head. Let's go ahead and get the the torso, and because I want that same pose gonna have a, a shoulder towards the front, a shoulder towards the back. So you're gonna have an angle. What's up, Danette in the house? How you doing, Sar Sarlene? Sarlin, uh, welcome to the stream. And then of course the hips, boom, and, of and then I want a leg over here. There's gonna be a leg over there. Bam, you wanna kinda try to match the knees. Cause no matter how far, um, the knee, the leg is in front versus the one that's in the back, how different in, in size and distance they are, the knee is going to uh, always uh, match up. Unless you put the foot on, uh, on something, which I could have done that. Uh, yeah, that would have been all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Cool, cool. We're going to roll with this. Then she has her hand right here. Couple fingers there. Got the thumb sticking out. I like it. And then the sword. And then her hand right there. Yeah, this is it. This is how it all starts. For some of my character art, it starts off as shapes. You know, and here's where you can uh, change out the gender or character style. So you can, or even go from human to animal, uh, dinosaurs, whatever kind of characters you like to draw. Um, it, it, the, the foundation to any character art is always going to be with the shapes. At least, at least for me it is. All right, so now that I have a sketch that I like, I go ahead and open and create a new layer. And in the second layer, this is, this is where we are now, where I will then have start to fill in the character, start to fill in what is this character about, who are they, what do they do. And one thing that couldn't get past was the size of the head. I think I, I wanted to do a big head, 
and uh, it did not come out the way I wanted it to, but it's okay, let's, let's keep it rolling. So here I start to add a few things, and as an example of this, let's just uh, make that smaller. Let's go here and there, boom, let's go back into our sketch here. And so as an example of, of uh, what I mean is, here's where I start to determine, okay, we need uh, the, the chest, there goes the torso, there goes the thigh, boom, another thigh. And then, you know, if you know your muscle groups and where certain things go, then it's pretty easy to just throw it in. And again, shapes, again, more shapes. Now you can round them out. And uh, now I start thinking about, well, what's this character gonna be doing? Who are they? What are they doing? Where are they? I do know that this is not gonna be a sword. It's going to be a pencil, because all my characters are about the art life. They're about drawing daily. And, uh, and so this is gonna be, Yeah, yeah. And then um, I like space and I like the, to think of uh, the art life as a, um, what is it, what is it, what is it? Sharing of the um, art life uh, gospel. What is it? Spreading the art life gospel. That's what it is. And so that means that as artists, we go out into the world and share our creative creations and processes with others so that they can also start creating and, and uh, share, um, explore their creativity. And so, so, so let's go ahead and think of it as uh, she's going to need a helmet of some kind. Yeah, something to go on, uh, 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 go where no man has gone before. Yes, and uh, <laughs> Waze says all about that art life. Voodoo Val says, yes, that's right. We got to share the good news about the art life. So once I get to a particular point of this uh, sketch, I was like, okay, now I start to really think about, you know, what is this character going to have? I was reading a lot of comic books in the 90s. And if you know anything about 90s comic books and comic book characters, that they all had a lot of pouches. So, and then Batman, my favorite uh, comic book character of all, it has a tons of pouches where somehow all kinds of weapons and uh, equipment <laughs> comes out of a pouch on his waist. So my characters have pouches. So there's going to be some pouches there. She's, she's, my character's going to have a pencil sticking out the side because uh, I like to draw <laughs> like that, you know, like a, like drawing with the, the Wild Wild West kind of draw, but not with the pencil. So there we go. Bam. Then I'm going to go ahead and come up with some cool helmet and uh, make this uh, uh, a really interesting uh, character and that's right Voodoo Val says Batman utility belt everything is in there whatever you need <laughs> whatever Batman needs is in that utility belt so 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 far I got a good character going and I work on a lot of different layers to work the sketch out now in one of the later sketches I actually have a sketch of another character where I just sat there and reworked the sketch on and on and on, erasing and adding on more, and it was all in one layer. <sighs> Those times happen when you're not thinking about it. You're just kind of lost in creativity, and then the drawing just shows up. Thankfully, I still have some of those moments, and, uh, and it brings you great joy when it's like, oh, that looks awesome. And sometimes you have to work at it, work at it, work at it. And this is one of those times where you have to work at it, work at it. And I'm gonna show you what else I had to work on that was not, not that it was that not coming out ideal to me. But all right, so so now let's go ahead and look at the next sketch. Turn this off, and here is the current sketch that I share with everybody that is sitting in the boom Behance project. There we goes. So basic pencil is the pencil that I'm using right now. That's the basic pencil. It's called on guard. I wanted some like ninja or ninja type shoes that are like really tight on the skin and, and on your feet. I love a good utility belt, says Joshua. I used to be a carpenter. <laughs> I have worked construction and a utility belt. The, the, the right utility belt will make your life easier. There we go. Thank you, Voodoo Val, for sharing the sketch and or oh, the project. There it is. And so I like uh, adding uh, knee pads to my characters, usually an elbow pad of some kind or big 
um, forearm things. I don't, what do you call those things? There's a name for it, right? Uh, and so if anybody knows it, just put it on the chat so I can say it out loud. All right, so as I'm thinking of things that I want, there goes the pencil. Gotta always have a pencil handy. I uh, started thinking, I was like, okay, this is cool. This character lives out here. What else is going on with this character? So now let me turn all these off and turn this on. That off. Boom. And so this character is out in space. What's crazy, the braces, that's right, the braces, uh huh, arm braces, uh huh. Um, gauntlets, but I think gauntlet includes a glove, right? I, I'm not sure. Any case, so as you're looking at this character now, um, the, one thing that'll stand out is the hair. I would like drawing hair. I'm not good at necessarily like drawing fully fleshed out hair, but I like the idea of big hair. Maybe because I don't have hair. And, uh, and so <laughs> you recognize the good hair other people have, and it's like, oh, that would be so cool if I had some kind of hair like that. And, uh, and so, so for some reason, she has her hair hanging outside the helmet. I don't know how you do that. I don't know at what point uh, at the, at the, when you suit up, do you make sure your hair fits uh, through your helmet. But there it is. And I like adding this little bit of, uh, let me see if I can get into it. Boom. Bam. Let me see what that is. Here. Yep. I added a little bit of shading there, like in front of her face. You know, so that kind of gives you an idea that there's like a, a glass or some kind of containment. I drew the pencil in a different layer. There it is. And I left some of the, um, the suit showing through. And that's when I started getting some ideas about the pencil. However, you'll notice that this hand looks small and that hand looks big. That hand looks chunky. So like this hand looks like it has a uh, glove versus this hand has a glove, but it's really a tight glove. So I was still working some of these uh, elements right. I never re remember the name of bracers. <laughs> it's a bracer. I did not know that. I just can't say I remember that. I never knew that, Gareth. I, I, braces, correct. Because the braces, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused now. I have to look it up. And uh, thank you for uh, sharing it <laughs> in the chat. Cool. So, so far, I'm still. Working out, how do I want the feet, uh, the shoes? I did not do my little ninja uh, toes there, but I don't know. As time goes on, you some ideas, they don't play out. And another thing I like to do with some of my drawings is step away from them. Don't look at them for a day or two. And then when I come back, I, extra inspiration shows up. It's like, oh, I know exactly what to do there. So let's go ahead and uh, then, so this is where I left off with the sketch. And I was like, okay, this is a good starting point when it's time for the vector. So let's go ahead and get started with the vector. RB says, I'm getting old. Golly, RB, thanks. <laughs> All right, let me see what's in there. This is the pencil. So I drew the pencil. And this is the outline, one of the outlines. And so let's work with that outline. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and ungroup this, boom, and maybe turn that off. So now I have a full complete outline of my drawing. And at some point, I decided that I was going to, so, num so there's my vector brush. I'm using the regular vector brush to taper. That's where I'm at, there it is, the taper. I like to pick and choose which uh, little uh, vector brushes I like that is gonna work best for me. And uh, let me turn that off right there. Boom. And so little by little, I'm going through the drawing, adding little things. And so I solved my hand problem with the gloves by making this hand a little tighter. And instead of it spreading out this way, like, like how was it? Like, uh, like this. I had it kind of like going like this. It, the, the angle was weird. So I turned it more towards the front. And so that means I'm straining out. Uh, the elbow out also, you know, so I'm kind of change, making a few little adjustments and, and I don't know, that works for me. So I just roll with it. Uh, let's see, here's the outline. So now I see a few things that I want to do here to this outline. And let's go like this. Mm -hmm. 
bam, just drawing some lines. Now I use the taper. The cool thing about the tape, the taper is that uh, it has that taper. See this little part right there? That part is so cool because then it starts to look like brushed ink on paper. And I really, really love that. And Voodoo Val says butter, baby. Dang, your lines are buttery. That's right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. And so, and so that's so that's my process. Let me go ahead and uh, turn that down. Go on this layer so that you can see how you know little by little with the eyes. I went ahead and duplicated the eyes. I did draw new um, eyebrows, but the eyes are the same. Like these eyes are exactly like these eyes on this side. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And actually, I should draw some eyeballs. Boom. That one's kind of thick. Let me go ahead and uh, just do the eyeball. There we go. And not on that la layer, this one. There we go. Boom. And I can just fill it in because I, I, I like to um, do the little um, reflection on the eyes. You know, when you see the light, do I have some? I should have some eyes because I got lights in here. I like to use the eraser and just go like. Oh, no, too much. Oh, there we go. Boom. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's go this side. So you pay attention to eyes and a lot of artists. What they do is they draw like a thousand eyes on a several pages of paper and uh, sheets of paper so that you can get used to figuring out like how do eyes work? What do they look like? When you're looking sideways, when you're going like this, and all this different stuff. So as time goes on, you kind of get used to drawing some eyes. There we go. Boom. Fill it in. Eraser again. Boom. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Uh, another thing I want to do. So now that I have that, let me turn this back on. Boom. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I have it on a different layer. The eyes on a different layer, and that's cool. Uh, what I am also going to do on a different layer is do some details that I want that I want to be really that I want the lines to be in there, but I want it to be a little bit on the on the um, bit, not so dramatic as the outline of the the lines that I have now. So this is where I go in here. Let me see. Let's turn this on. Look at that. So let me uh, ungroup this. And uh, this is, let me see. Okay, so that's this line. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone because that actually belongs here. There, oops, not like that, yeah. What happened, what happened? Go back up. Oh, so it's all there. Oh, okay, I, I know, I know. Uh, okay, leave it alone. Let me turn it off. So let's go here. This is the shadow. So right now I'm starting to add details and shadows to my character. And so I have decided to make the pencil, that one, uh, it's right here, like a lightsaber. So that it's like made out of this energy and light, right? And so when it's made out of this energy and light, then it's shining. And if it's shining, then it's also shining on the outline of the character. And let me see, let me move this down. Boom, let me move this right here. That does that, I don't like that. So let's go up, that does that. Oh yeah, I do like that, let's go here. Got it, and I can turn this back on and turn down the opacity. There you go. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not quite there all the way. There you go. Turn that down. Boom. Maybe I turn that off. This is good for now. Let's going to roll with that. <laughs> too powerful. Yes, it's very powerful. Thank you. Thank you. And so, so I'm still playing around with the, these ideas right here. But do know that when we hop onto Illustrator, you can do so much more with tones, gradients, and colors that, uh, that you don't, you don't want to get caught up in it right now. So here's the shadows, and I can turn that down a little bit more. So there you go, look at that. Bam! So the light source is that pencil saber. What are we doing to me? <laughs> Voodoo Val, that's right, lightsaber, 
Pencil saver. Mmm. Okay. So, so there's the face, right? And so now I can add these extra details right here in the, in, in this, but it's now part of the mood and not so much the line work. And if I wanted to, I can, go. of course I want to I'm doing it now, you know, or maybe not, not like, not that one. Let me go like this. Boom. This, this is uh, foamy. Right, so kind of like the headphones, you got the foam, uh, like the football helmets and stuff. So, so when you're wearing your helmet, it's got that foam to protect you. So, uh, it's, it has that uh, that cushion. And just draw some random line. There you go. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. All right, all right. Now I can draw. Let's do a few lines here and there. And again. Bam. Mm-hmm. Make thicker. No, no, the other side. Uh, you know, just play around with the idea. And of course, in the beginning of today's stream, I showed you some of the reference artwork that I find that I come across. I, I, I'm always looking at other artists' work, trying to figure out how did they do something? How did they do that? What is it that they had to do to, uh, to, get, to, to make those simple lines look like it's part of the drawing, like it belongs there, like this is real. Like it somehow it's real. So now what I'm gonna do here is just start filling in a bunch of areas with the vector brush. Oh, no. Yes. Ah. Oh. Around and around. Uh, maybe not so much on this because this is the top end. Of the light is right here the bottom is over there so there's going to be a lot more light coming through there a lot more light coming through eh, through here a lot more darkness on this side so think about it and then later i can add a fill light i can add um a halo light i forget what it's called outlining light there's all kinds of little little lights trying to figure out how they brought it to life that's right your details make it pop thank you james i, I appreciate that Yes, and that's what I want, right? So now with the hair, the same thing. Make some. Um, this. Say here. And just then get the bucket. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam. Keep it rolling. Right, All right. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see if, if this works out. Cause sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I forget to close the shape somewhere. Somewhere I forgot to close the shape. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Oh, I see. I know where. I know where. I see. Hmm, what happened here? Thought I did that right. Boom, boom. Oh, ah, not everything. Come on, come on. Oh, so there's an open shape right here. There you go. I'll get you. I'll get you. And if it's too much and I don't like it you know, then I can go ahead and get the eraser. So, so we'll do that in a second. Show you, I'm gonna show you my other tricks. I got a few other tricks. Uh, I think I, uh, there's so much to do with this drawing. I think I bit more than I can chew this time around. Last, last time we were live, uh, I was able to finish the drawing, but now it's like, ah, there's so many things that I want to do to this drawing that I don't know. I don't know. All right, boom. So there's the hair. Got it. Uh, let's just do a little bit here. There, there. And there. Now, I am going to keep it monochromatic. That way, you don't have to worry about colors and uh, different shades. It's like, come on, we're going to keep rolling through this. I only have an hour. Absolutely how you shade things. Thank you. 
Except you appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's go there and put in and let's that is to this and this. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing uh, also about the pencil going through the in front of the body is that I don't have to shade any of this right here. <laughs> I can skip that. I'm like, yeah, I don't have to think about it. But here we do. Um, there you go. Got it. And definitely some shadows here. Bam. This, go there, there, there. I like it. And then uh, definitely down here, under this arm and hip torso area. And if I had more time, if this was one of my regular Wednesday streams where, you know, I got two, three hours to draw, I would take my time and go really tiny, a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, right now, I got I to get this done. We got we to gotta go. Uh, it'll be more fun when we look on your profile for the finished one and see even more epic detail later. Yes, yes, because if you look through that um, Behance profile, you'll notice where I finished the other drawing, the Barbarian, and uh, I even added a little bit of detail in the nose and the elbows. Uh, you know, then I, can, I go back and it's like, yeah, you know, I, I really think uh, I should uh, do more with this. Uh, and it's fun. It's super fun. This belt has the little, uh, what do you call it? Webbing, the, the, the kind of, the, the, the bendy. It's all bendy, and so it has these, uh, these folds. All right, got it. Cool. This whole leg is going to stay dark. This kind of like the part of the flexible uh, suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Like it? Yeah, this is pretty good. You know, and it's always tough for me to figure out like where, what should we have here? What kind of, what kind of armor should be in the legs and the knees and so on? And and then <laughs> later on, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about some Space Moon uh, boots. We're gonna do some Chucks. That's it. We're doing Chucks. Oh, she's gonna wear some Chuck Taylors. I will tell you what. I'll tell you what. That's what we're going with. No. Um, so I'm hopping around everywhere, and that's how I do my drawing. You don't have to. You don't have to follow any one format. Just uh, draw it. Draw what feels right. Boom. Space chucks. That's right. <laughs> Space chucks. There we go. Boom. There, uh, you know, and uh, I, I draw Chuck Taylors because they're easy to draw. They're very basic shapes. But then I look at some art, other artists' work, and, uh, and it's like, whoa, their amount of detail and simplicity is insane. There we go. So there. So now there are going to be some highlights in some of these areas. Let's kind of curve that out. You know what? Let's do it again. Let's go like this. Oh, I know what's happening. This is the jitter. No one is like, I know I can draw better than that. Why does it look crooked? It's because it's the jitter. Jitter is on. I was using the jitter for the pencil. Look at that. You can just hear this, the, the, the way it sounds, uh, the way the pencil. So here. Um, so right now I'm just going to do a lot of... Uh, Outlines. No. No. Got it. Uh. This is nice. It's nice, nice. Yes. This. Boom. The bucket. Fill it in. Oh, no. And of course, you got to have close shapes. If you don't, then you can see what happened. All right. Now, where, where, where are you? Where are you? There we go. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. 
This is all right. I think there is hope. Hope for this drawing. All right. Here. Bam. Mm. I've been playing some racing games. I just got uh, finally uh, upgraded to the Nintendo Switch. And so when I draw these shapes like this, I imagine the racetrack. Because <laughs> I like playing uh, racing videos. Playing one earlier today. Boom. All right. Okay. So a little bit here. And then we're done with this uh, layer so far. Take a look. <sighs> I want to do something here. Let's see. There's some light here, but there's a dark. Then let's go like this. Okay. Got it. Yeah. There's always more shading that can be done, and uh, but at some point we have to move. Has to follow the the shape of the thigh. Got it. Good. Okay, so here's where the next trick comes in. Um, let's go like. Just a little. Bit. There you go. Okay. All right. So so we have some of our major shading, right? And that's cool. Uh, let's get the eraser real quick, and before I move on, let's do this. Just a little bit of detail. Like I said, I don't know how this character is going to get her hair uh, through the helmet, <laughs> but uh, it works out. Uh, thank you, James. Love your shades. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't like the shape of these. One should be bigger than the other. Maybe I can go like this. There we go. Yes. Oh yeah. Boom. Oh. All right. The hair. Boom, there it is. Okay, so now, check it out, check it out, check it out. So good. Thank you, thank you. RB says, that pencil looking dangerous. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you all. So now I select that same layer, duplicate, bam. Now it looks like more dramatic, right? Now that she, she ready for a fight now. Like, it's dangerous out here. Yeah, yeah, there's monsters on the moon. Ah, that'll be a great idea. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, you know, look, I can turn it up or down on the second layer. So I have two. I have one shading layer and another shading layer. And they're both exactly alike, right? Well, they're, they're exactly alike. But one of those I am going to, let's go ahead and rename this. This is going to be uh, shading, right? And then this one's going to be shade two, all right? So that we know which one is which. Right, so now shade two yeah, is right there. I'm gonna grab the eraser and now we take away a little bit. See, now I can go like this. Yes, you, somebody said it the other day on my stream and i forget what that what that was i should have wrote it down uh but it there's a name for this there's a name for what happens when you have several layers of shading and uh working together and uh and you're right rb i am uh forgetting things but i'm not getting old take that back yeah boom Every time I watch the show, I end up needing to draw. <laughs> That's good. That's good, Voodoo Val. We should, we should uh, just break it out. Break out that pencil, that fresco, 
and get to drawing. You got the sketch already, and I invite everybody else to try it out too. Go ahead and uh, vector or redraw the sketch that I share with you, and uh, tag me in the in, when you post it. Go ahead and post it. If you like, you can always join us in our Discord, and uh, and a lot of us uh, are posting our art in there so we can uh, see what you come up with. Not right there. Take it there. Boom. And now we can do this. Shell. Do it better. No. There. Nice. There you go. So it adds an extra dimension into our, our drawing by having several shadow layers and it, you, if you if it's too dark you can turn it down or you might make it darker look at that now it's really that's insane right there the kind of contrast that you get right there ah, jeez jeez louise all right so there's that and if there's some parts where i wish there was some shading i go ahead and draw Bam, bam, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. What time is it? Oh, so already, that's it. We got 20 minutes left. Oh, my God. Adobe Live, I need more time. I have to work that out. Just adding a few little pieces that I feel like it, it, it could help. It could help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the helmet's looking good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, erase. Eraser. Mm -hmm. That. This. This. That. Go. Here. Better. Go. Get right there. I'm just erasing. I'm erasing. Of course, some people like to do masking. I don't like masking. Ma masking layers, I don't like doing. And uh, one of the main reasons is that because when you, when you do all this vector work in uh, Adobe Fresco, then it's time to export to Illustrator. You don't, uh, the, you lose some of the, the layers and, and uh, the vector layers from Fresco, when you go into Illustrator and they get flattened out. I don't like that. So, so I found this way to work that works best for me. And uh, Voodoo says, uh, when you get into the groove and start loving your art, you always need more time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. Because we love it. It's like, this is good. And uh, if you didn't like it, you'd be like, yeah, I'm done. Go ahead. Go on. Take it. Not me. Like, hold on, hold on. Just a little bit more, please. Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. You know, and here's where we can do like real cool things. See that? Adds a little bit of a, a detail into that that under armor. No. Boom, got it. Good. Hey, Stoney, how you doing? It's cool to watch your techniques. Thank you, Stoney. Appreciate it. It's all about finding the groove in the first place. Yes, Broom, yes, it is. Also, what's everybody else working on? Are you working on a project or are you doing something else? Please leave it in the chat and let us know what you're working on. Uh, before I go, I want to talk about uh, Spooktober, something that we're doing in our uh discord so feel free to join us it is uh free and fun come on in and then join us in our stream later on today odari and i will be streaming here on behance working on our spooktober designs let's go like this Oh, 
own and still do it. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like it when the plan comes together. It's in here, getting ready to go live. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on with me today. Am I going to make it? We'll see. And then it works out. Like, yes, yes. Working on work. Screen printing separation. Nice. And working on my own character development projects. Nice, Joshua. Yes, yes, yes. Make sure you post your projects on Behance so that we can see them. That's what I do. I, every time I work on something cool, I just make a project on Behance so then I can share the link and tell everybody about it. All right. Go there and we're going to go. Mm -hmm. Boom, there goes the thigh. Here. Boom, and of course, okay, so here we want to go like. That cool. Oh, yes, and then these, oh, the, that, that pouch has the uh, button. I was like, this pouch doesn't have any button. Ooh, got it. Belt. Yes. Like that. Go ahead. Not the sides, but the bottom. Let's put this and that gotta go. A little bit. Jones, yes. Take that side out. Let's go this side out. Out. And that right there. Cool. Okay, now let's go ahead and start bringing in some background. And uh, I think it's right here. So, so you'll notice, uh, let's un ungroup here. Now you'll notice that I have uh, the, the planet or the, the moon there, right there. Then there's some shadow for the moon right there. Then there's the background, right? So now what happens with the background is that uh, because I don't have any color inside of the character's drawing or silhouette, it's going to get, the character's going to get lost with the background. And that's when I have a different trick. Let's turn this on. Let's see. Boom. <laughs> and, uh, and so what I did here is uh, a simple process. You have an outline of something, right? Let's go of something in this case it's that Dan. Oops, not that not that ear. There we go. Okay, so you know, I like drawing myself. So as an example, it's me. I'm the I'm the example. It's a me. The Got it. Oh then the ear. Forget the ears. All right. So you have a shape and you're like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I like it. What am I going to do here? How are we going to do this, right? Try to erase some of these lines because, you know, I can't, can't leave it the way it is. I got to do better. I always tell myself, do better. Don't have to worry about it. I do it. Okay. So what's up? What's up, Lisa? How you doing? <laughs> I realized I couldn't draw very well with the mouse then I drawn on me that, I'm, that my right hand has never drawn anything. <laughs> okay, so, so here's my character, right? That's, and so, so what I want to do then is uh, um, I go ahead and make sure all my shapes are closed. Got it? They don't have to be perfect, just close. Then I go ahead and uh, click on Set as Reference. Create a new layer. The new layer, I'm just going to get the white, get the paint bucket, and go like this. Fill it in. There it is. So then I'll move that layer underneath and can turn it off and on. Look. Turn this one off, and there's the, there's the, there's the white layer. <laughs> so I'll turn that back on. Where's my paint bucket? Let's go here. Let's see. Yep, there it is. So, so I made my line layer a reference that it has reference then i create an empty layer that i fill in with white 
in between all my shapes. So then I have a white background for my drawing. So if my drawing, I want to turn down the opacity on it, I can do anything I want and it's not going to interact with the background. So there you go. That's a quick little trick right there for you. Which I don't know how quick it is, but is it? So let's go ahead and turn that off. We don't need it. You've been missing the streams. Oh yes, yes. Come on through, Lisa. Let's go. All right. So, so there's that white. Is that it right there? Yep. That's it. Boom. So now I have uh, a background for my character, to, so it won't get lost in that background of space. I like it. Um, I like what's going on with this moon. Let me go ahead and add a new layer and let's uh, fill this moon in. Doesn't matter the color, as long as it's back. Close it and there we go. Because I can always make color adjustments later. And uh, but I am going to go. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to eat that if I don't want to. Yep, goodbye. All right, this is good. This is good. Now I'm kind of, uh, oh, yeah, so I was, I was like, I'm kind of stuck on what's next. But uh, I got uh, less than five minutes. Dang, that's fast. All right, so let's go ahead and save. Don't forget, you can always export to Illustrator on the iPad. There we go. Boom, 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 convert layers to objects. Click OK and wait for it. We don't have a lot of time. Did I click on it? I did click on it. There it goes. Boom, I'm working on the iPad. We're all on the iPad. There it is. And now I can really add some cool things, including the, the, the space behind it, right? Behind this character. So there is uh, the background. Let me go ahead and uh, duplicate this uh, background in, uh, square or shape and then add a gradient to it. Let's do linear and let's bring it in like this and let's go right like that, bam. Make that stronger and what's up with my layer? It has to be at 100%, is that it? Is that right? Okay, let's go ahead and multiply. Boom, oh, don't, don't like that. So there's a setting that I'm not noticing here right now. Let's see what's up with that. That is needs to be normal. There we go. And then I can make sure this one is normal. I like it. And this one is going to be multiple. And so now it's not dark enough. It is right here. So something I did something to my colors that is not showing me what I want. Let's see, off and on, off and on. I think I did, uh, um, I have a uh, setting. So let's go ahead and make a new layer. I can do this all day. There it is. There you go. Uh, so if it doesn't work the first time, do it again. All right. I got the space is the place. There you go. Oh, yes. Yes. And my character really stands out right here. Yes. Okay. 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 So I'm running low on time. Make sure you find me, Delta Tango Mike, anywhere on the internet, Delta Tango Mike. I stream on Mondays and Wednesdays with Odari and Sketchable and Fresco. It's uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, tonight is with Odari. Most of the time is uh, you can find us in the Discord or here on Behance. And check out our Spooktober list of uh, art challenges for the month of October. It's going to be fun. We're going to enjoy ourselves. And uh, let me see. I have some more notes here. Mm, special special ve vector streams on Tuesdays here on Behance and on the Discord with RB. So, you know, come on through. Let me go ahead and lock all of these up. Boom, 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 boom. Make a new layer. And now I'm going to get the circle. Let's get some circles. I can go like this. And actually, you know, like. Oh, what happened? Oh. Got a bunch of circles there. Select those circles. I want it solid. Solid. No, solid white is but no. What happened? What happened? Solid white. I got it. And no shadow. There it is. So solid. There it is. Solid. That's what I solid. Got it. So now I can duplicate that and then now duplicate that. 
there, duplicate it again, duplicate it again, and now I'm gonna twist those around, and boom, just like that, we start moving along with our uh, uh, planets in the background. Turn down the opacity on that layer, where are you, right here. Not so dramatic. I can then grab all of those with the scissors, copy, lock that layer, new layer, scissors, paste it, and we're going to change that color. Boom, and then move them. So now we have a different color uh, stars in the background. Thank you, everybody. I am DTM Delta Tango Mike. Thank you, Voodoo Val, Derek, Stoney. Gareth, Bliss, Lisa, Misty, all of y'all for hanging out with me tonight, today. Enjoy your rest of your day, and we'll see you soon. DTM out. Peace.